Now, before we get into the meat of this video, I would like to say two things, first of all. Number one, I just got a new Samsung Galaxy 7S. I originally was recording my videos with an iPhone 5S, but unfortunately that iPhone 5S is currently a piece of crap, and I decided to switch to Samsung because due to more better advances in Android technology, and plus I want to try out a Samsung phone, plus I think Samsung is pretty beneficial. I think I really, I love Samsung phones at this point. So I'm testing out a new phone. Plus, remember this camera runs at 60 frames per second, which is kind of late. So if this video truly uploads in 60 frames per second, that will be awesome. But anyway, so this is all just like give a tiny little rest in peace to my little shitty iPhone 5S and to all of its glory. Okay, let's just, you know, just... Okay, we're done. Be um, that iPhone 5S has definitely served me well, but you know what? It's time for me to move on with a better phone. And this is just this phone is just amazing. I love it. Um, second thing, with the new phone, I have to have a new video editing app. So I currently found a pretty decent, pretty awesome actually, uh, video editing app. So I'm testing this new video editing app um, as like I'm, I'm trying to upload this video. So. This change to Samsung and with this new video editing app and this new camera which runs in the full 60 frames per second, I mean my god, it's amazing, I love it. I think this phone will truly work out. So without further delay, people of YouTube, let's truly get into the meaning of this video. And oh boy, it's a doozy. Are we talking about this anime again? Are we really talking about this anime again? <sighs> well... Yeah. Yes, we are, people of YouTube. Hi, hello, people of YouTube. Tis I am once more the Crimson Assassin. Here today, without a beard, but with a new phone, giving you guys another anime review. And today, people of YouTube, we're going to be ch revisiting... An anime I reviewed back in 2014. An anime that is quite one of... It, it, it's considered to be one of the animes that we literally do not talk about. We don't talk about this anime at all. Not a lot of people do. It's, one of, it's considered one of the worst animes ever made. To that, I say bullshit because I've seen the worst anime ever made. And trust me, you don't want to see that. I'd rather watch this anime than the other one, okay? So just... Pointing that out there. Um, we're going to be talking about school days, people of YouTube. And yes, we are. I know. School days. <sighs> yeah. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why Crimson Assassin? Why are you revisiting this anime? What, th there's so many animes that you could have rewatched and then re-reviews for. Why this one? Why this one all of a sudden? The answer to that question, people of YouTube, is as I grew mature, okay, as I grew much older, I have a sort of different look on a lot of animes, okay? Animes that I thought I would never like, I actually really ended up enjoying. Kuroko no Basket, Hajime no Ippo, Code Geass, Gurren Lagann, um, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is one of them. Um... Tons of anime that I thought I wouldn't really like, I truly ended up enjoying. And I, I was thinking to myself, well, maybe there's a few animes out there that I rewatched, but now that I've grown a better taste of anime, maybe I can actually re give this anime a shot. And School Days just happens to be one of the animes. Because, people of YouTube, I've already seen the worst anime ever made. And trust me, that last review for School Days that I've ever done was crap. It was a horrible, horrible review. I fairly misjudged the anime because I, because everyone was saying how this anime was bad, and I just felt like adding some crap to the pile of mixed. And I thought I was being very unfair with the anime. Yeah, I know me talking praise about School Days. I mean, oh my god, it's so fucking unheard of. But you know what? I actually re when I was actually rewatching this anime, I actually truly thought to myself. Is this anime really bad? And that, people of YouTube, is the question that I am proposing in this video. Is School Days 
a bad anime? We'll answer that question in this review, people of YouTube. Without any further delay, let's get on with this anime review. So the story of School Days, infamously well known to be one of the worst animes ever created, goes like this. You follow series main protagonist Makoto Ito as he attends this high school and he meets a girl named Kotonoha. He falls in love with Kotonoha and doesn't know how to express his feelings, so he meets this girl named Sekai that, and Sekai hooks Makoto and Kotonoha together. So they started dating, but then unfortunately Makoto decides to get very horny and decides to uh, not really date Kotonoha anymore and decides to go ahead and sleep with the girl that he set him up with, Sekai. So now they're fucking and you just... Oh god, this anime. Uh, that's pretty much all I could really say. <laughs> uh, you basically follow Makoto and his struggles of keeping the secret of his girlfriend, him cheating on his girlfriend with another girl, but then, you know, he decides to be a dickhead and decides to sleep around with other girls, and... Yeah, okay, you probably can understand why this anime is considered to be one of the worst animes ever made is because of the characters. The characters are literally the most despicable pieces of crap that you will ever meet in anime history, but like I said, that is a complete understatement because I have seen the worst anime ever. <sighs> With that, people of YouTube, what are good qualities to School Days? And I think there are a few qualities of School Days that I actually thoroughly enjoyed, and I feel like it kind of gets overlooked upon because yeah, sure, we all hate the characters, but if you really try to look at the anime from a different angle and from a different perspective, I think a lot of people truly did misjudge the anime and think, and really needs to think, is it that bad of an anime? Um, I think one of the major qualities of this anime that truly gets overlooked and actually no one truly gives praise upon the anime for was the fact that its story was actually handled very excellently. I like the direction of the story, how it handled its drama. This drama was actually believable. Never has an anime truly discussed the topics of cheating, of lust, of urges, of, you know, sexual desires, yearning for someone. Not, not a lot of animes truly discuss these topics. I mean, I... I dare anyone to really give me a whole entire top 10 list of animes that actually has sexual lessons or stuff. Like, I can only think of two, <laughs> which is Shimonetta, shockingly, and um, Say I Love You, and that kind of it. I, I can't think of anything else. School Days is kind of the only anime that truly discussed this topic. In a not so very good way, but if you truly look at it from that angle and that perspective, not a lot of animes does what School Days does. Plus, keep in mind, people of YouTube, the anime is actually adapted by a visual novel. It's original is a visual novel, and it's quite weird because it's actually a video visual novel. If you can think, um, it's um. Like actual characters and voice acting in the anime, and you make choices actually upon the the choices and what uh whatever, and cutscenes changes or whatever. And I thought actually the visual novel of School Days is actually really good, and I actually recommend you check out the visual novel instead of the anime. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Truly, people of YouTube. It's quite overlooked how the story is, and I actually will give praise to the story of the anime. I thought it was really well done. Um, the animation was actually pretty decent. I, I actually talked shit about the animation uh, about it, but you know what? I kind of gave it a second go, and I thought, hey, it, 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 it's plausible. Nothing outstanding. They reused a lot of animation, but you know what? I, I It was okay, in my opinion. For a high school romance drama back in, what, 2002? It was okay. I actually didn't mind the animation at all. It, 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 it's a meh animation. <sighs> oh, what else? What else did I like? Hmm. Uh, two characters. One I actually really empathized with and actually, like, said, damn. 
And the other one, nah, I take that back. She was also a bitch. <laughs> no, one, and that's of course being Katonoha. Katonoha, I just, oh my god, this poor girl. This, 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 this poor girl. This, this, this poor girl. This poor fucking girl. How she constantly gives Makoto the benefit of the doubt, keeps continuing to trust him, and continues to believe in him. Makoto just ends up fucking around and being a total complete douchebag to her. I, 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 oh my god, like, I need a girl, we all need a girl like Katona Hot, like, my god. Um, the ending, oh my god, the, 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 the infamous ending of School Days. Even though I already watched it, it still leaves a lasting impression on me. That ending will always, and I mean always, be written down in anime history as one of the most out of left field, bizarre, crazy, like, oh my god, what the fuck happened? Like, I know a lot of people know the ending of the anime, but just in case, if you don't, I'm not gonna reveal it. Um, you can probably watch someone else talk about the anime, and they explain the ending, of course, in their review, because they don't want anyone to watch School Days. I kind of want people to watch School Days to, to actually have an open mind that it tries to be different from a lot of romantic comedy animes. The fact that, you know, a lot of romantic comedy animes tend to follow this trend of, you know, having characters not really end up together at the end, having characters truly sidelined and not really giving a fuck about having characters not as despicable as the characters that you have seen in the anime, but it tries to separate itself from other romance genre, romance drama animes out there, and I thought it was actually handled very well. Uh, again, like you, like no one can compare Amagami SS and School Days. You can't compare the two; they're they're just total opposites of one another. Um, Orange and School Days, total opposites. The one praise I will just give School Days right off the bat is that. It'll leave a lasting impression on you, and no matter how hard you try to avoid it, it gets brought up in someone's conversation. It is literally one of the most, luc not really lucrative, but it, it, it's just, it just happens, people of YouTube. It just happens out of nowhere. That ending. My God. That ending. That ending. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ending was beautiful. Was, was was beautiful. Best ending I've ever seen. Ten out of ten. That ending alone was worth it. What was worth me sitting through eleven up eleven and what twenty eight minutes of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that ending. That ending. Beautiful. Ten out of ten. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. That's all. Like that's all the praise I could truly give school days. And I think mostly the cons of the anime truly just goes to the characters. All the characters, except Katonoha, they're all despicable, they're all deplorable, and you just don't give a fuck about. Makoto. Okay, I'm not going to refer to these characters by their real names, I'm just going to refer to them as swear words or um, insignificant objects. Uh, we're going to call Makoto. Um, <clears throat> uh, I hereby dubbed... Makoto, <laughs> I hear my dubbed his name Sir Douche Pickle, as he is a douchebag and he also looks like a pickle. He is a douche pickle. Um, Sekai, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call her. Um, Shit, I have nothing for Sekai, but Makoto, Sir Douche Pickle. But that that that's where we're going with. We're going with Sir Douche Pickle. End of end of discussion. Um, yeah, we, we don't like him. No one does. I think a lot of uh, females in the anime community just 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 do, bleh, hate this guy. Although some people come out of the way and actually defend him, and the fact that he's a horny teenager, he's going through a rough, difficult period in his life, and that he just wants to fuck. I mean, hell, you know, guys in high school. I mean, what do they think about? I mean, <laughs> you can ask me. <laughs> um, 
I want to apologize for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, screw him. Screw him. No. Set guy, screw her too. Um, all the sluts that Makoto slept with, screw them too. Screw the bullies that bully Katonoha. Screw all of them. They all suck. They're all deplorable. They're all pieces of crap. Even Setsuna. Even Setsuna. Oh my god. And I had high hopes for Setsuna. Oh, I had high hopes for her, but no. No, she she blew it. She she blew it. No, no. No. She blew it. No. Okay, I'm going way off in too many tangents right now. I should just end this review right now. People of YouTube, please do keep in mind, is School Days a bad anime? To me, no. It is not a bad anime at all. In fact, I think it's kind of good. If you want a quality good story... Go ahead, watch School Days. I think, literally, the only reason why I should say to anyone to actually watch School Days is for its story. Its story is amazing. I actually did enjoy the story. And the ending will blow you the frick away. The characters, however, they all suck. Seriously. Stay away from all of the characters of the anime. Like, my god. My god. <sighs> Screw them. Screw all of them. They all suck. With that, people of YouTube, I give School Days my final verdict of a 5 out of 10. It is literally dead in the middle. It's not a bad anime, but it's not the best anime. It's not even a relatively decent anime. It's an okay anime. Yeah. If you, uh, like, the only reason, okay, the only circumstance will ever allow anyone to watch School Days is if you're bored. Or... If um, someone dares you to and it's for a million dollars, and in that case, go for it, my friend. Win that million dollars. With that being said, people of YouTube, please leave a comment down below. What did you truly think of School Days? Do you actually see my point of view and do you think that maybe it's not really a ba as bad of an anime as people say it is? Or do you, are you agree with the multiple consensus and think that, yeah, School Days is a piece of crap and no one should watch it? Uh... I'm going to try to edit this video with my brand new Samsung phone. I hope this video actually uploads in 60 frames per second. And if it does, that will be awesome. With that being said, people of YouTube, if you'd like to see more of my uh, videos, please consider subscribing. And until then, people of YouTube, tis I once more the Crimson Assassin. Signing out. Peace, YouTube.